I am, I am Billionaire Charlie, man. Just had a, I want y'all to hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, man. And if you like to donate to the channel, all my cash out information right there below, you know. Go pick up Free Me From The Traps at Amazon in the link below, you know what I'm saying? Click on it, go pick up your book. It's a good read, you know. But I am billionaire, child. You know what I'm talking about. Donate to the channel. Show some love, man. And all we do is bring positivity. You know? But anyway, man. I just had an exclusive interview with Cowboy. And he just sat down and gave me an interview, man. To let me know. You know what I mean? All about his friend, Ronnie. You know what I mean? A.K.A. Wizard Islam. You know what I mean? He gave me an exclusive interview, man. We sat down at the Fat Burger, and we ordered a couple burgers, you know. And Cowboy was a good guy, you know. He was a really good guy. He was in there ordering, you know what I'm saying. He was talking to the young lady, you know what I'm saying, letting them know what he wanted. He wanted double cheeseburger, extra cheese, put a little fish on it, you know. He was getting all type of things, bacon and all type of nasty things put on his hamburger, you know. Bacon and lettuce and tomatoes, hold the mayonnaise, put some hot sauce up there type of thing. But anyway, man, Cowboy sat down with me, man, and he said he's gonna do an exclusive interview with me and just me on it. You know what I mean? And I, I accepted it and we talked and he just brought me into who is Ronnie, man, Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? He said he grew up with this guy. You know what I mean? They was close friends, you know? And he was telling me a story about how they was in the first grade and he would come to class with a bow tie and a slick back. He was the only kid in the school that could get away with that, man. He said he used to smell like Bengay and Vaseline, man. And, he would, and Cowboy told me that Ryan used to tell him a lot of crazy stories, man, about his father, African Bambada. He said his father, real name is African Bambada. And um, he was telling me, man, that Ronnie, you know, we had a friend named Hassan Campbell. You know what I'm saying? His, uh, his dad would come upstairs and he would grab an action figure and he would massage the action figure in a way that was just despicable. We would never ever want to see a Power Ranger get massaged like that or a Ninja Turtle. That's what Cowboy was telling me, Rodney was telling him about his father, African Barbada, and his friend, Hassan Campbell, you know, when he was growing up as kids. And his father used to come in his room and touch the toys and things of that nature, you know. But anyway, man, he, he continued to elaborate, you know what I'm saying? And I asked him a little bit about uh, Holder, and he told me that uh, how he got his name, Shitty Cuz. And he said he, he used to go to class and he would always have this green thing stuff running down from his pants into his shoes and everybody would run and say, hmm, there he go again. He got that smell to him. And he was one of them kids that had a lot of flies running around his butt. You know what I'm saying? Like the baby kids, you know? That's, that's what Cowboy was telling me about this situation, man. And he always told me that he knew that uh, Ronnie was an agent from back in the days. He used to do backflips off the monkey bars and elbow people, you know what I'm saying? And he used to have a magical pen that record people conversations. He said he always knew he was to respect the gadget. He always knew that he had a little bit more going on. And he was a scammer. And he was telling me a story about how him and Ronnie was locked up together and they shared bumps and he would tell me Things that I, I was trying to understand Cowboy at first. He said something about Ronnie and him was always tight or he was always tight. And I was like, he's always tight. I'm like, oh, hold on. That don't sound right. You know, he's always tight. Or he was tight. I'm like, huh? What kind of? That didn't sound right. That sounded, sound, that sounded kind of weird, man. You know what I'm saying? That sounded real weird, man. I didn't understand what was going on with that when he said that story, you know? So it's kind of tight. I'm like, kind of tight, okay. 
cowboy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he say he love when he watch Ronnie. Must get soap all on him in his shower. That was their thing. You know what I'm saying? He was always tight. I'm like, oh, okay. So Cowboy and Ronnie had a great relationship, you know. They knew each other from jail, from little kids. They had a great and amazing relationship with one another that they shared these special moments that I didn't really want to hear these stories, you know. But he explained to me. Cowboy said he had to let me know what was going on. He also said that Ronnie had a sister that he used to mess with, you know. And he said her box was like fish and old uh, frog eggs. It smelled like fish and old frog eggs and bologna sandwiches that stayed outside too long. You know, they had a little bad odor to it, like a rotten egg and manure smell to the box. But he said he enjoyed it. He said it was so good. He's one of them guys that liked the smell when he get in. He said when he get into it, it, it was so amazing to him. And I was like, okay, okay, that's your thing. I'm gonna leave you alone with that, you know? But yeah, he said Ronnie was his best friend. He had a great relationship with him. And he said Holder was always a guy that had a problem with holding his stuff in his, you know what I mean? He always used the bathroom on himself. You know what I'm saying? That's what he do a lot. He used the bathroom on himself and it's despicable every time he do it. He was doing it since he was a kid and a grown man, and that's how he got his name, the shitty cousin, you know what I'm saying? The only man he knew that could make the whole room smell like a despicable thing, you know? And like I said, Cowboy was a good guy. He talked to me, and he let me know, man, all about the age, you know what I mean? And all about the situations, man. He taught me things that I had never known, you know? He said the man used to fly off monkey bars, headbutt people, like off the monkey bars, like like a, like he was one of them uh, Dragon Ball Z characters. Bing! I was like, whoa, he really used to do that? Backflips and all of that? I said, he was trained from a young age, huh? He said he used to always have these J.C. Penny or Payless shoes on his feet, these big old boots with the... It had it was supposed to be uh, Timberlands, but they had like a reindeer on it or some a reindeer that was bent over, leaned to the side with a a, a can of 211 on it. I was like, that was it was some 211 head shoes all back then too. I was like, dang, I ain't know that, bro. The cowboy was going in. Cowboy was telling me everything, man, and he was telling me about how uh, <clears throat> Ronnie had a homeboy named Hassan Camel. You know what I'm saying? And his dad, that Ronnie dad, uh. African Bombada used to always, you know what I'm saying, have a relationship with this, this young kid. And, you know what I'm saying, he was about 17, 18 years old. And they got very serious. And then Ronnie was okay with his his pops digging on Hassan Campbell. And I know that he said that they had a lot of great romantic things that was going on, candle lightings and all type of things, you know. But Cowboy, this was breaking me down, all down to me, man. And he was letting me know all about this um this guy you know he said he taught him everything you know what i'm saying he said he was an enjoying he was he was everybody piece of meat um, ronnie was he said he was going being passed around you know i mean like a little thingy thing you know what i'm saying he was moving from one person to the next you know he was the, he, that's his that's just his mo you know what i mean the cowboy sat down with me and he was a cool guy man and very respectful towards me and I love him for that. I appreciate the interview, man. Like Cowboy, man, they call him Fishy Cuz, you know what I'm saying? But I really feel like he wasn't, I, I mean, I smelled the fishy odor when every time he opened his mouth, but that's, I don't think that's why he got his name, you know? I don't know, but was it? You know what I'm saying? I did smell a fishy odor. Like, like his body just wasn't clean all the way. He got in the shower, you know what I'm saying? Didn't turn the water on, it just rubbed soap on himself. And he didn't wash his arms and he just threw cologne on. You ever been around a person that smell like cologne, musk, a, a monkey, a booty, and all different types of animals from the zoo? That's what they smell like with cologne on. And it's like, oh, oh. I'm, in, I'm in the fat burger falling out. Oh, yeah. I fell out like 20 different times, man. But, you know, I appreciate Cowboy giving me that exclusive interview. About your boy Ronnie, aka, you know, Wizard Islam, you know. 
the legend, you know? I'm out of here, man. Billionaire Charlie, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button for me, and donate to the channel, and keep laughing with your boy. Biz out.